we are here again at another renovation. Now this one in particular, you guys saw when it was still old and crusty and we have gotten to the final finishes and we are finally ready for lists and ready to go. So why don't we check it out? Come on. All right, check it out. Let's see what we have here. It looks different, doesn't it? I told you, it's no longer old and crusty. This house now has did a full renovation from the rooter to the tutor, like my grandma would say. At this point, we have did the full living room area. By now, you're very familiar with my signature tray ceilings. I have them in two separate places of this house, but I wanted to make sure I made it pop right here in the living room while we have the full modern lighting throughout this house. This feel, like I told you before, is something of city vibes, little modern, but still a little southern charm mixed into it. And you get that throughout this home with the mix of the lighting, the mixture of the floors. I didn't go with the basic white oak floors. I went ahead and did a custom stain mixture on this one to really make it pop and to kind of bring in that whole vibe of everything that I got going on. So let's walk through the kitchen. So right here we have some Italian quartz countertops. It was imported in from my guys and they called me as soon as it got in and said, Gabrielle, this is gonna be the one for you. So came right in, went to the warehouse, checked it out and I actually got a steal of a deal because I found one similar to this that I'm putting in the other property down the street. So it's kind of like it's evil twin. <laughs> but here we have the modern style lighting throughout the home as you can see. We went with gold and black finishes. Throughout the entire house. This is the house where I'm like, I got to play around a little bit and I didn't want to play it safe. Most people they're like, oh, I can't believe you did a black kitchen. Oh, everyone's doing a white kitchen, blah, 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 blah. But guys, so far, so good. I've had nothing but great responses on this. And for me, who does everything the same? Who wants to be like everybody else? Not me, and you should know that by now. So now you have your black kitchen. You have your black custom cabinets with the finishes, as well as we have this lovely pot filler, which I accidentally turned on already, so we're gonna stop right here and just push it back, okay? On throughout here, all of my properties, they do come with appliance packages. This one is a darker stainless steel appliance package. This is one that I had to find and make sure that it was staying within the budget to keep the price point where I wanted it to be, because ultimately, I really wanted to put some black appliances in here, but that would have shocked us through the roof, okay? On top of, we have shortages of lumber, we have shortages of appliances, we have a shortage of everything right now, because we're still going through everything that's happening in the world. So, we got what we got, but I think it came out really, really nice. Over here, we have our dining area where we also have this lovely modern light fixture of gold and black, of course. And then I went with a feature wall that's a little different than some of the ones I've done before. With the horizontal lines contrasting with everything in the floor, it just makes it kind of pop over here. It makes you, when you walk in the front of the house, you say, oh, let's have a seat. <laughs> Go over here. We have an additional little sitting area in the home. So this is just when you wanna sit and have a quick little tea with some of your friends, and maybe you don't want them plunging down on your couch. You just wanna sit and have a quiet little moment and then on out the door. From here, we go to the living room. So this is an area that I really, really like. I love the fact that it's open, Actually, every area in this house I really, really like. But this is open, it's spacious, you don't get much of this in the city. In the city, a lot of the house sizes are about 1,500 square feet or less. This house actually is at 2,100 square feet, and a lot of it is, the bulk of it is here in this open area that shares the living room, kitchen, and dining, as well as when we get off to the master, 
you'll see where all the square footage is. But I love this area over here because you have so much natural lighting throughout the home, as well as you have your nice illuminating fireplace that also puts out heat, but it's also environmental friendly, so you don't have the carbon going everywhere. We already mounted the TV, so whoever wants to come in, they're already ready to go. As well as we have additional seating. We were, just look at it. It's enough where you can fit a sectional, as well as you can fit some additional chairs. You can play around with this however you want to, but the space, honestly, it's endless possibilities. Let's go here. I wanna show you guys, this is one of the first bedrooms off from the front. Now, I actually made this space into a small office. A lot of us right now are still working from home and quite honestly, most people will be continuing to work from home. So I created an area so that they can already envision how it's gonna be. And it's off from the master and the additional bedroom and bathroom, so it's perfect. Get away from everybody, have some peace and quiet, you know? Let's walk this way and let me guide you through. This is another bedroom. This is our secondary room. Still very spacious. Very nice, very calming. Again, you have your custom floor throughout the entire home. This hardwoods throughout the entire house. And this stain just picks up all the light throughout the home. Here we have the hall bath that is adjacent to the bedrooms. Now, this is not the bathroom for your guests to have. We'll get to the half bath in just a minute. This is a full bathroom that is perfect for anybody that's already in those other two rooms. It's very spacious. You can move around in here, you can twirl about, you're not bumping into stuff. You know, you can kind of do a cha-cha-cha. And while you're doing the cha-cha-cha, actually, you can hit this and the music plays on the Bluetooth speaker. Very nice, you have illuminating light. You also have options. So if you don't want the blue light, you want orange, you want regular, whatever you want, we got it in this house, okay? Let's go to the master. All right, let me say this, guys. Let's stop right here. This, I like. I said earlier that every space is my space. This master or other suite is my absolute favorite. This is one where I hand drew the tray ceilings on a piece of a napkin. And from there, I gave it to the architect, they put in the right measurements, and my guys went to work. I was so excited to see it come out because it's, it's nothing like creating a design and envisioning it and then seeing it come to life. As you can see, look at this room. It's so spacious, so serene. This really is my little sanctuary. When I come to this house to do my little check-ins, I always find myself sitting here, laying here, relaxing here, and then the contractors say, Eva, where are you? That's when I know I'm still at work. So for somebody that takes this house, they're gonna love it. I hope they do. If not, we have a problem because this is one of my favorites. I cherish this little area. I love the fact, let me just show you something because it's closed right now. This house has so much natural light throughout that it is amazing. I mean, just look at this. Get into this. Look at this backyard shot. Pure serenity. When you go, when you enter this room, it just breathes to me. I'm home. I'm at peace. I'm safe. I can relax. I can enjoy. How about let me just run a hot bath or take a hot shower and look at this. You have your shower that's elongated. It's fit for three or four people with a rain head. Or you have your bath. 
which has the spa-like feel with the green wall in the back. So when you're laying in this, I mean, I think we should just get into this. Let's just, let's just see, let's just see. When you get into this, oh my goodness. Take a look, look how spacious this tub is. You can't beat it. This, this bathroom was created in mind with someone that works hard, like me, that just needs to relax when they come home. It's the perfect, perfect situation for a guy or a girl that wants to just unwind from everything that's going on in the world, everything that's happening every day. They come in here, by the way, there's another Bluetooth speaker in the water closet. They can turn it on, play some smooth jazz, play some Mel Robbins, because that's what I listen to to relax and bring myself back to center. Or they want to listen to some Afro beats, you know? You don't need no other body. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I think I'm having too much fun in this bathroom. But you guys get the point. Also, what better way to when you're done in the tub, you gotta get dressed. Cause maybe you say, hmm, I have guests coming over and I want to entertain. Let's check this out. We have a full custom closet here that is perfect for any fashionista. There's plenty of space in here. There's additional rooms in this house. So many things to offer. You can put extra storage bins, extra things here to just make it work in your favor. So this room, a lot of thought went into it. Let's check out these other areas. Come on around, come on around, come on around. So down this long hallway, as you can see, you're like, well, what is this whole other compartment of the house? Well, I created this hallway so that it's like a guiding light inside outside living. So if you're sitting at the 70 inch island or you're sitting on the couch, you can look and this is what you see. A bit of beauty, a bit of nature. But off to that, if your guest needs to use the powder room, they can come on in. And here we have this lovely created room just for them. And guess what? If you're having guests over and you're setting the mood throughout the house, maybe you got the music playing, you've interlocked the Bluetooth speakers, but you don't want the warm light. Maybe you want something a little more like, a little more like this. Something nice, something jazzy, put a little music on, because again, it plays on the speaker. What better way? This house has really turned into an entertainer's house because there's so many little compartments and areas where you don't feel clutch or clutter or set on top of each other, which is a lot of times what you get when you're in the inner city because the houses are so small, the rooms were not thought of back then, everybody's on top of each other, and everybody's ready to go home. No one wants to come and sit at your house, and be hot, and all that good stuff. Here we got good AC, we got good transitions, and a lot of space. So, perfect, perfect house. Let's go outside. The last time you guys came here, when we went outside, it was hideous. Trees were everywhere that were dead. Brush was everywhere that was just out of the way. So we did some trimming and we tilled up the whole area and we've already started getting new grass. Now, it's still growing in some places. There's still some growth that needs to happen. We need some more of this Georgia rain. Some of the sun needs to hide a little bit because it's scorching, but it's growing in really nicely. And I just want to show you guys. So, look at here. See, the sun is so bright today and it's so beautiful. But it's so magical out here. I mean, this deck space, let's just get a view of it. Look how long it is. Look how wide it is. I mean, you can put a grill, patio space, everything that I said before when we were renovating it. Now it's here. So this is the time to get out here. The fall is finally here. The weather ugh, in Atlanta is still hot, but it's very nice. And especially in the afternoons, late afternoons going into the evenings, it gets a little breezy. So 
What better time than to start having a fire pit out here, having some pumpkins. Like to be honest, I wanna go to the store right now and go pick up some pumpkins and some hay and get the party started before somebody comes and snatches this house up. But in the meantime, I guess I'll leave it for the buyers and I'll go on to the next house and we have more. I bought some more houses on the street that I can't wait to show you guys.